So today I want to talk to you about dedication. Oh, Anel, dedication, what does that even mean? <laughs> well, so often when I start looking at dedication, it's what the little people called obsession. It's when we start looking at our lives and dedicating ourselves and every single part of our lives to our mission, to our desire, to the outcome. This is where we really have to start taking an overview, a holistic approach to how we are living. And we have to move out of, you know, just going, well, I want to be an Iron Man, and so therefore dedication is me showing up in training every single day. No, dedication means a complete lifestyle overhaul so that you are the person who does an Ironman event successfully. We have to start seeing the cobweb of how everything is integrated. And so for me, dedication is being willing to sacrifice, to release all that is of lower vibration so that I may receive my high vibrational desires. We are talking everything. Dedication is that I'm dedicated to my mission and therefore I eat nourishing foods so that my body is at optimal health. It means I train every day because my body is my powerhouse. It's what generates the energy. It's what has me showing up for you every single day. And so the dedication, part of the dedication is me training my body every single day. Part of my dedication is doing the mindset work every single day. Part of the dedication is doing meditation every single day. Part of the dedication is releasing toxic relationships and surrounding myself with like-minded people who are purpose-driven and who choose to live in integrity. So do you start seeing that when I say dedicate yourself to the desired outcomes, it is really about becoming the person who is successful in whatever your current desires are. And you have to stop this holding on to old toxic relationships and shitty behaviors if you are going to dedicate yourself to success. So here's the exercise for today. If you have a look at what your core desire is, your burning desire, and it's already a done deal, like you've already decided it is done, and you have chosen your driver, who is the woman who is already successful in having obtained that desire? What does she think like? What are her emotional choices? What does her environment look and feel like? What does her routine look and feel like? What does her eating look and feel like? Her relationships? Her conversations? All of that. So this is where you really start creating the avatar of the person of yourself at your best level self. And you dedicate yourself to that by eliminating all that does not belong in that picture. Now, this can be as easy or as hard as you choose to make it. See, all that pain that people go through is because they believe they have to go through that process. Because they believe it has to be hard and painful. Well, growth doesn't have to be that hard and that painful. Because if it was, why would anything in nature want to grow? And when we just allow ourselves into this flow and evolution and continuous growth, the pain that everybody is expecting kind of just melts away. As always, if you're an alpha female who's just ready to release the strive and the struggle and start receiving your desires in an energy of thrive, I'm going to invite you to click on the link below and watch the CAA methodology training.
And if this message has resonated with you, please like, share and comment so we can get more alphas to remember what dedication looks like in their lives and to start releasing the low vibrational energies so that they can receive a high vibrational life. After all, darling, only death is inevitable. Thriving is always the choice of the alpha. Live with honor. Cheers.